Bull Treadheart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to share some really amazing things that you guys can do with Google to vastly improve your business. And the big topic that we're going to cover with Google today in this video is going to be Google My Business. This is a free service that is offered by Google that not enough businesses take advantage of. The crazy thing about this is there's only 32% of the small businesses in the United States that use this service. It's completely free. Get it set up. Promote your business on Google. So here's how we do it. Now let me show you the end result first, just so you can kind of get an idea of why you want to do it. First off, Google, Google loves Google. And so if you want to rank higher on Google, you should be using a lot of their free services. And one of the things that shows up in Firefox and it shows up in a couple of the other browsers is going to be the finished product, which is this that, that you see right here on the right hand side. This is my Google My Business page. I can trace thousands of dollars worth of business that has come from this page because agents have mentioned this. Plus, it's also a great place to go out and get your, uh, your reviews written by your clients. And so what will happen is when somebody comes over here, they're thinking about working with you, they Google search your name or your business name, this box is going to come up. They're going to see all the information about your business, where it's located. They're going to be able to see all the reviews that have been written about it. They're going to be able to see everything that they need to know about your business just at a glance. Another reason why this is so powerful, a lot of people are making life decisions based off of reviews around them. So many agents, right now I'm doing this class uh, in the uh, San Antonio area, this video in the San Antonio area. So if I say, hey, I need to find an agent or a realtor near me in San Antonio, when I click on that, Give it a second for it to load up and you will see all the nearby agents start to pop up with the reviews on these agents. People are making life decisions as simple as, hey, where are we eating lunch and, and dinner to as complex as <clears throat> which agent should I use for my next real estate transaction? So it's crazy that people are doing it that way, but we're so accustomed to working off of our phone that it's no big deal. We want to make sure that we are showing up on this map. We want people to be able to find us, find the pin, just like what you see here, see where my business is located, see all the information about my business, all the photos, all the reviews, everything else that they need to know about that. This page itself has generated agents across the United States thousands and thousands of dollars. Steve Ryder out of the Atlanta, Georgia area is an agent who's been in my classes many times over. Uh, he's been in my classes probably the last in, in, in the last four or five years. Uh, the first class he went to about five years ago, he set up the Google My Business page. He was just in a class a couple months ago, stood up in, in front of everybody and said, hey guys, I just want to let you know for the last four or five years, I can trace back seven to nine real estate transactions that have referenced this page. There's probably more, but from those seven to nine real estate transactions, that's an extra $50,000 in, $50, in my pocket each year. So that's, an, that's, again, another reason why we want to get this set up. Now, how the heck do we set this up? Here we go. First thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you are logged into Google. You can see right here I'm logged into my account for Google. And then I'm going to come over here to where it says Google My Business. So if I don't know how to do anything in the world, I'm going to Google it or I'm going to YouTube it. But if I come over here where it says Google My Business, I see some... Uh, resources that pop up and one of them right here says get your free business listing so I'm gonna click on that <clears throat> give it a couple seconds for it to load up now while it's loading if I've never been here before I know for a fact that I do not have a pin on the map for my for my business I'm gonna hit the green button that says start now if I've been here before and I know I have a pin on the map and I just need to edit it update it add some more information to it I'm gonna hit sign in but if I'm doing it for the very first time, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit start now. Now, the first thing it's going to ask me is, what is my business name? This is not your broker's name. So don't go in. If you're with a Keller Williams office or Remax office, any other brokerage out there, don't go in and try to claim that brokerage name. You can't do that. That's not right. It's misleading. What you want to say is something along the lines of this. It's Michael Treadhart or it's the Treadhart team or it's however you want to phrase it. And then if you're with Keller Williams, I'm going to say I'm with Keller Williams Heritage Office here in San Antonio. Then I'm going to say Heritage San Antonio. Something along the lines of that. So your name, 
or your business name and then the brokerage that you're with. Now, if you're not a real estate agent, then you can go ahead and put in whatever your name is. If you're the business owner, put that in there. You come down, you can put in the street address and then and some people go, okay, time out. Can I put a PO box in there? No, it has to be an address that Google can mail to and, and, and have a brick and mortar established for your business. Well, what if I put the office address and all these other real estate agents' office there? That's okay because what you're doing is you're signifying that it's the Michael Trithart team or it's the individual at that office. So it's okay to have other people there. And keep in mind, not everybody's going to do this. So I always tell everybody in class, don't worry about everybody else. Just worry about your business. It's okay. So I go in and I put in the street address. Well, Hey, time out. I office from the house. Can I put in my home address instead? Yes, you can, but just know that you literally are drawing a map for the whole world to come knock on your front door. Ooh, yeah, may not want that. So it's your own personal decision as to what you want to do. Then you're going to come down. You're going to fill in your main business phone number. You're going to put in your website address. And right here where it says category, if you are a real estate agent, you're going to put in real estate agents just like that. Do you deliver goods and services? Real estate agents, you're going to say, no, you are not a pizza delivery service. You don't deliver cupcakes and pies on a regular basis. Now, if you own a company that is a delivery service, you're going to change that to yes. But real estate agents, you're going to leave that as a no. Now, I'm not going to progress any farther on this screen because what will happen is that it's going to try to set me up for the San Antonio office. But in many cases, when you hit continue, what will happen is it'll it'll find the real estate office at that address and it'll say hey is this what you mean is this the business that you mean and you say no i'm setting up my own unique business at that address and then it's going to continue through the process of next next yes yes all that other type of information now during this process one of the things it's going to set you up with is a google plus business page and a lot of times when people hear Google Plus, they're like, ugh, I don't even really use my Google Plus page. Now, now I'm going to get a business page. I don't want that. Well, you're going to get it, and you're going to like it. And that's the way Google, Google uh, structures it. And I'll show you what you can do with that Google Plus business page here in just a second. Something else that's going to happen as you go through this process, it'll then take you to a screen that says, okay, we are going to mail a postcard to this address that you put here to this business that is listed up here. And that postcard, which is going to come through the snail mail, is going to have three steps on it. One, two, three. And you need to follow these steps. And there is a time limit as to, I think it's 30 days is what the, the last one I've seen where the uh, code is going to expire in 30 days. So once you receive that postcard at the office, then you have 30 days to activate and verify your business page. And when you verify it, what that means is that basically gives you the green check, gives you the okay to be listed on the map. So that is a huge thing. So you may want to give your uh, receptionist at your office a heads up, be on the lookout for some Google postcards that are coming in, or Google postcard that's coming in for you. Now if there's multiple agents doing this, we used to be able to do this in a class environment where we would have you know 60 people all at once go in and, and uh, request this for their different businesses at the same address. Well, Google has now added an extra layer of security, and a lot of those agents are getting suspended. It's almost like uh, you're you're flying, you know, going to the airport, and you have to go through an extra round of security. They just want to make sure that everything is legit, because all of a sudden, there's 60 requests coming from the same IP address for the same physical address, all different business names. But it looks a little weird to Google, so they kind of freak out a little bit. They may, they may suspend you, and then you just have to go through an extra round of questioning about your business and, and making sure that it's legit. So if you go out and do this process on your own, on your own IP address at different times from everybody else in a classroom environment, then you should be okay. You should not get suspended. But if you do, you just go through the process of getting, getting that suspension removed. So once this is done, once that postcard has been mailed out, you'll get a screen that says, congratulations, postcards on the way. We are now going to allow you to go into the back office of your Google My Business page to go ahead and get everything else set up. You want to progress on that and go in and add in your photos and everything else about your business. I'm going to walk you through that because I've already got my page set up. I can show you that information. So I'm just going to hit the back button here. And again, if I have never been here before in my life, I hit the green button. If I've been here before, I hit sign in. A month from now, two weeks from now, whenever I need to get back to this page, remember, it's Google My Business. It's google.com 
forward slash business or you can just Google search Google my business and it'll bring you back but when I hit sign in I am now in for the back office of my website you notice that it says verified right here I see a green check and I have the ability to edit all my information and what I would want to do here is go in and put in all my contact info I'm gonna put in all my photos I'm gonna put in the hours that I service now real estate agents kinda of snicker at this part they're like hours for real estate really I mean can we not just put 24 7 if you are going to put in the office address for your real estate brokerage you need to mirror the office hours for that so if they close at 5 you need to say that you close at 5 because if somebody you know, if you put on there that you work till 7 but the office closes at 5 somebody's going to show up at 6 o'clock doors are going to be locked and it's it's not going to be good you're going to get a nasty review you're going to have an unhappy unhappy client so you want to make sure that you mirror what the office does you can put in all your information down here you, you know your website address your phone number you have the ability to add photos now if I hit this home button and go back I can add the photos over here as well you can see right here there's a couple different spots where I can do it where I can say manage the photos and I've got 32 plus photos that are in there for my business and you can go in and you can have an overview of all the photos of your business so a lot of as a trainer got a lot of action photos photos that I put in photos that customers have put in interior shots exterior shots at work team photos you have all this other type of information that you guys can put in there again Google loves information about your business so real estate agents put in photographs of happy clients put in photographs of your team put in your headshot put in your logo if you want to put in some uh, photos of, of your office inside and out you can do so maybe some communities that you service and some of the model homes you know kind of a, a signature look for some of the homes that you service put that in there as well once you get verified you'll get this green check plus you will also be able to start to see the insights how many people have viewed your page in the last 30 days you will also be able to see how many reviews have been written about you and you have the ability to manage those reviews so whenever somebody writes you a, a, a review you need to respond and whether that review is good or bad you need to respond now if it's hopefully good that, that's an easy response what if it's bad what if it's negative you know uh, I always tell everybody take the high road you know it, it's very easy for us to try to be nasty back that's not going to look very well to other potential uh, consumers that are out there so always take the high road on that now how to uh, get reviews and how to get them to, to fill this in you can see I've got 172 re reviews we're at a five out of five rating which is great I, I appreciate our clients doing that but how the heck do you get that many reviews that's a, that's something that we teach in the actual on-site workshop that we do for Google and that's something that you would find in a different video from me a little bit later okay but if I come down something else I can do Google Analytics make sure you get that installed this is gonna pull data not only from michaeltreadhart.com which is your website but it's also gonna show you some other information about your your Google my business page you have the ability to go in and do AdWords of course Google wants you to do AdWords this is their lifeblood this is how they make their money and so this is something that you could do I have chosen not to do it I feel like I'm, I'm getting a pretty good return uh, at no additional cost for, for what I'm doing here but if you really wanted to ramp it up and get more visibility for your website then this would be a great way to do that and it's very easy to get started on that and, it, and it's pretty cost effective but something else that we have here at the bottom this is your Google Plus business page and again everybody goes oh my gosh you know what the heck do I do I use the business page for I always tell everybody think of it this way you are the restaurant owner this is the restaurant this is you as a real estate agent talking about the real estate business this is stats this is homes that you've sold this is happy clients this is uh, businesses moving in moving out that are going to be moving people what we do here as as a design team and a training team is we're showcasing some of the designs that we've done recently that we've finished up for our clients we're talking about classes that we have coming up we're going in and sharing information about our business on this page so this is a page that's all about your business the key thing on all of this though is get this set up so you are visible on the map so people can find you can call you and start to work with you 
you as a real estate agent will be amazed how many people will just call you because they found a realtor near where they're at and your face is there and you got a good review and they're like, oh, that's a good person. Let's use them. You'll be amazed how many, how many calls you start to get along the lines of that. Plus, you will also start to pick up business from people going out, thinking about working with you and doing a little bit of uh, research on you and finding this page and going, oh, okay, I like what I see. Five out of five rating, 172 reviews, got information on here, it's looking good. All of this is completely free. Get this set up. If you have more questions, you need some assistance, or you would like to have a hands-on workshop for Google, then just come over here to michaeltridhart.com. You can email me from this website. I can send you all the details. Like I said, I'm here in San Antonio, and tomorrow we're doing, we're doing a Google My Business uh, actually, a, a Become Google Great class tomorrow, which is going to include Google My Business and a lot of other elements that Google provides to us. So if I can be of assistance to you, uh, in addition to this video that I've created, I'm here for you. Just let me know. Thanks so much. Bye.